Welcome to the Audio Inc. Radio Podcast, featuring interviews with the biggest names in rock and metal. Hosted by Ann Erickson. Got Inc.? Head to AudioIncRadio.com and find exclusive artist interviews, Q&As, photos, contests, music news, and more. Whew, that's a lot of ink. It's AudioIncRadio.com. What's up? It's Ann Erickson. As always, it's great to have you here on the podcast. And don't forget to link up online. Twitter and Snapchat at Ann Erickson, Instagram at Erickson Ann, and you can find me on Facebook at it's me Ann.com. Finally, if you are rocking out to the podcast for the first time, please subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. The guys of Seven Dust out on a major tour with Skillet, Devour the Day, and Pop Evil. Great, Bill. Very excited to talk to LJ of Seven Dust. Hey, this is LJ from Seven Dust, and you listen to Audio Inc. Radio on Ann Erickson. Hey, what's up, LJ? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I am fantastic. Enjoying the summer. How about you? Oh, definitely. Up here in Detroit, whenever we get any temperature over 50, we are so happy. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I love you from Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love you here. I mean, you know, every time Seven Dust comes to Michigan anywhere, you know how it is. Like, it sells out. Definitely. It's a, it's a great time, always. Well, you guys, of course, have this major tour coming up with Skillet, Pop Evil, Devour the Day. What makes this bill an exciting bill for you? Uh, you know, just for me, uh, personally, you know, we know uh, everyone on the, the bill. And uh, I've always wanted to st- tour with Skillet since, you know, I, I fell in love with the band, you know, the first time I heard them. So it's going to be fun. And, you know, it's like, it's like for me, it's like pretty much a family reunion kind of tour. And uh, I'm really excited. We've had a break and uh it's time to get back out there and, you know, rock for a little while. Have you guys ever been out with Skillet before? Is this your first major this, thing with them? This, this would be our first tour with Skillet. Cool. When it comes to the tracks that you guys are going to be playing live on this tour, are you looking to kind of switch it up from previous tours, or what kind of stuff are you going to play? Yeah, we're gonna we're definitely going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I don't. We hadn't really talked about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, we're excited about the tour, but uh, we'll definitely uh, pull in some heavy hitters and. And, you know, it just depends on what, you know, we, we have so many songs right now, since we're so, we're old men, that uh, we got a big catalog to pick from. So we'll probably change the set around a lot of times on the tour, you know, and see which feels best. So what do you think it is about Seven Dust with Skillet, Pop Evil, and Devour the Day, this mix of bands that makes this such a special tour? I don't know. I, 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 I love, me personally, I love all the bands, so... I, I hope that's the feeling that everyone's getting, that they're going to come out and from the start to the finish see bands that are great and, uh, you know, just have a good time. And it's all about music and, and trying to unplug from the crazy things that may be at home or at work or what's going on in life. Uh, you know, just unplug for a minute and enjoy music because I think it's a healer. And I definitely feel like this tour is definitely going to be a healing type of tour. Definitely. Are there any venues that you're extra excited to hit up this time around? I just everyone, just the tour period. I'm excited about getting back on the road, you know, just to, to get back out there and bang it out. And uh, just every night, it's a different experience. And I love every venue. I love different towns. For uh, uh, I'm a man keeper, so I like to shop. You know, we talked about that before, but uh, I, I get into that type of stuff. And so it's going to be the summertime, and it'll be fun. And, you know, we like it because on the Skillet Tour, we, we get to actually play before and have time to hang out and watch their set, you know, and do things. And that's always exciting. So you guys, of course, released All I See Is War last year, and the album has been out there a while. So how has it felt like playing these new tracks to fans at the show's live? Oh, it's great. It's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a pleasure. The album was uh, so great to be able to do it with Elvis and uh, uh, to get out and do the songs live. It's been really exciting. And, uh, and to add them into the catalog, it's always fun to have new music. And, and to, to, to even, you know, still right now, there's still songs that people haven't heard. So there's still room to, to keep adding songs. And who knows what we'll put in the set for the skillet run. So, you know, it's, it's, just, it's real cool. Seven Dust, you guys have been rocking it for more than 20 years, which is hard to believe. Does it seem like it's been two decades since you guys got together? Uh, no, not at all. But then I'll look at some of the pictures and I'm like, wow, I do remember that in uh, yes, it was 20 years ago. And, uh, but, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe, you know, because uh, I really feel like, you know, music is definitely, it keeps you young. Uh, it depends on the way you you go about it. Uh, I'm a true believer in moderation. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's been crazy. We've been blessed. I mean, not a lot of people can say that they've been able to do something that they love 
uh, for that that long and to keep it together. It's a what a pleasure it has been, and it's definitely not all been uh, roses and gold and stuff falling out of stuff. But it's been a, it's been a hard road. But uh, what more could you ask for to still be able to be relevant in this frugal world of the music industry that we call? And uh, it's uh, it, it's really cool. When you first started Seven Dust, did you have any idea that you guys would enjoy the longevity that you have as a band? Uh, no, you don't know. I never, th- I never really thought about it. You know, I just thought that we got a group of guys that love each other, and this is awesome, and this is what we want to do, and this is our, our passion, and I felt we were kind of destined to do it. So, uh, uh, I, but you know what? No, I don't. I didn't think that I would think that. You know, at forty six years old now, that I would still be rocking with the dust, and 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 then still feeling like uh, it's new again. You know. Uh, it would sign in with Rise Records, put a new fire under the band, and it really, it, it's like started things all over again, and it's been just exciting. Uh, and yeah, so I never thought that. I, I expect many, many more years. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are blessed. Definitely blessed. Well, you guys have such a great fan base and great social media following. How important is social media to bands and artists today to reach fans? Oh, it's great. I, I, I'm a little... I'm a little old school on the social media. I kind of do Instagram and that's it. I'm like a picture says a thousand words, but uh, I think it's very uh, important for us to have these pages because uh, I mean, that's where you're, that's what, that's the future. I mean, you know, you can, you can be a kid in your living room or your bedroom and, and play the guitar and play it really well, or maybe not even play it well, but guess what? You know, you become some social media phenomenon overnight <laughs> because guess how many people viewed you doing this? I mean, so it's definitely where where it's at in the world we live in right now. And uh, I think it's very important for a band, uh, anybody in the business to, to have their finger some some way on that. So everyone wants to know, what's the status of new Seven Dust music? Oh, wow. We're right now, man. So, so we've already had like two writing sessions and... I really feel like that we have some stuff that's really going to stick on this album. And uh, that's exciting. So we'll go in the studio, you know, not too long from now. Everyone's excited to go in and, and then, you know, start testing out some of this new stuff and, and seeing what our producer feels like and if he likes the direction. But I, I, we're definitely happy with what's going on right now. So uh, we're taking our time. No hurry right now. But I think half the album is... Uh, <laughs> I, well, I ain't gonna say that, but I think a lot of it. It's a lot of just this. It's a lot of cool material. <laughs> awesome. Are you working with the same producer as for the last record? Yeah, we're gonna work with Elvis again. Okay, cool. Do you have any like certain vision in mind for the new music that you guys are creating, or is it just kind of coming naturally? It's coming naturally. You know, it's just us jamming and you know just doing what we do and just uh, just being, being the artists and being the weirdos that we are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it might be out next year, or is it too soon to tell? Uh, it's too soon to tell. So are there any artists or bands out there who you would love to collaborate with or tour with at some point who you haven't with yet? Ah, uh, wow, that's a good question. There's so, so, there's so many. I love the band Hyrule the Hero. I love those guys. I'd love to, to uh, be able to bring those guys out on tour with us one of these days soon. Uh, it's a new band that's out there kicking butt right now. Uh, I still want to go out on tour with my brothers, uh, Ivan from Five Finger Death Punch and those guys. Uh, I think that would be a good, great Seven Dust uh, Five Finger Run would be awesome to do. Oh, that would uh, be perfect. That's good. I, you know, there's, there's tons of them, like Perfect Circle, Tool. I love to tour with those guys. I'm so excited about, we're getting ready, we'll be leaving for the UK, and uh, it'll be Seven Dust Shine Down and Alter Bridge, which uh, Alter Bridge is one of my favorite bands ever, and uh, I uh, look forward to, to doing that tour. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of, lot of of bands that I like and I enjoy touring with. You know, I love touring with anyone out there that's in the industry and, and enjoys what they're doing and they put on a good show. That's what I'm all about. Cool. So do you have any other projects in the works at all? Anything solo, anything like that on the fringe? Just, yeah, you know, just kind of keeping it down low. But uh, people were talking about it, but I'm just kind of working on a little solo project myself. And it's no, no big deal, not, not putting any pressure on on it but uh it's been fun to work and do music uh you know uh, to the side and i'm excited about that too well thank you so much lj is there anything else you'd want to add oh no i'm good thank you for taking the time you have a great weekend definitely you too enjoy this nice weather oh yes and you uh, have fun the rest of the summer i'll see you soon it's the cutting edge of new music and the forefront of rock 
It's Audio Inc. with Anne. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Audio Inc. radio podcast. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. Get inked online at audioincradio.com. I'm Anne Erickson for the Audio Inc. radio podcast.